I'm getting ready to close. That's why the Bible says don't covet anything your brother has. Because if you're covetous, you get dangerous. Because you'll steal my money and steal my wife and steal my stuff. But when I know you are in the image of God, and when I'm striving to be like God, things are separate from who you are. I feel like preaching in here. Give some money a high five and say I'm a miracle all to myself and I don't come to celebrate houses of man but I rose today to celebrate who I am. It's time for you to realize that God made you to celebrate him and in celebrating him you celebrate who you are so I don't have to kill my brother I come to lift my brother and to build my sister because anything else is just a byproduct because if I seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness he is already proven I I am the greatest provider that the world has ever known. I don't need you to worry about your pocketbook because if you praise me enough and worship me enough, I'll take care of your pocketbook. I don't need you to worry about the clothes you're putting on your back because nobody but nobody but nobody but nobody was as rich as Solomon and yet still Solomon in all his glory don't smell better or look better than a fall of cattle lilies. Have you ever had Casablancas? They're lilies and what God said was I made the lily more pretty than all the clothes that Solomon could wear. Give somebody a high five and say neighbor are you trying to cover your ugly with the pretty of your clothes or if I take ugly clothes and put on you, would you still be pretty? Give some money high five and say, neighbor, I'm not only beautiful on the outside, but my real beauty is down on the inside. And when you walk past my outside, you fail to understand that I might not look like what you want on the outside but I guarantee I'm what you need on the inside I feel like preaching in here it ain't about money it ain't about cars but I will lift my hands to the hills from whence cometh my help my help your help our help does not come from the outside but it comes from the Lord I will bless the Lord at all times I feel a breakthrough in me I want to talk to somebody that had everything and now you're barely making it I want to tell you this learn how to abound but learn how to abase and God told me to tell you you can do all things through Christ which strengtheneth you I feel like preaching in here shake somebody's hand and said I found out in economic hard times that my praise is genuine I found out when I lost everything that I did not lose my joy and my peace because everything on the outside was temporary but what I had on the inside was permanent you can take the house but you can't get my joy you can take the car but you can't have my peace you can
can take the money, but you can't take my power because I'm anointed and it's permanent. I have joy and it's permanent. I have the peace of God and it's permanent. I have the power of his anointing and it's permanent. The storm can't take it. The tornado can't take it. The earthquake can't take it. Death can't take it. The grave can't hold it. Because I am filled with the Spirit of God. Touch seven people and say, get it in order. Get it in order. Get it in order. Get it in order. You are more important. I feel like preaching today. I'm getting ready to close. But I need you to touch somebody and say, neighbor, don't lose your mind over a car. Don't lose your mind over money. Don't lose your mind over things. Don't lose your mind over clothes. Because you're going to need your mind to praise the name of your God. You're going to need your mind to move through and understand that God is the reason I'm here. God is the reason I'm alive. I might be broke, but I'm alive. I might be broke, but I can still lift my voice and tell the world, can't nobody do you like Jesus? Can't nobody do you like the Lord? I'd rather have Jesus. I'd rather have Jesus. I'd rather have Jesus. When everything leaves, he'll still be here. He'll still be here. Oh, I'm so glad. So glad. So glad. Touch your neighbor. Say, I got it right. I got it right. I got it right. Don't run after a man. He can't give you God. Don't run after a house. It can't give you God. Don't run after a car. It can't give you God. But if you run after God, the car will run after you. If you run after God, the woman will run after you. If you run after God, the house will come. The money will come because it's just a byproduct. I'm running after money. I'm running after God. God I love. God I live. Somebody holler. I got it right. I got it right. It ain't about things, it's about you! Celebrate who you are! Celebrate who you are! Celebrate it! Celebrate your mind! Celebrate your creativity! Celebrate your love! Celebrate your power! It ain't about what you got! It's about who you are! And I ready to close but give somebody a high five for the last time and tell them your best blessing might not be dressed right your best blessing might not have the right hairdo your best blessing might not be six foot tall your best blessing might be right beside you and you can't even tell because you're looking at the outward but Thank you.
an anointing in this house. Somebody got a breakthrough. Look at your neighbor and say, I'm not breaking down. I'm breaking through. I feel a breakthrough. The peace of God, which passed all understanding. It just rested on somebody. God just said, don't worry about it. I got it. Don't get ugly over it. I got it. I got your back. I got it. All these God's calling you. It's time. It's time to give your soul. What would it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? Oh, gentle Savior, in my come on. You don't have a church home. Come on. 